Yes, you saw the title, the thumbnail correctly, do not get a perm. The reason I'm telling you not to get a perm is because you probably don't even know what's happening to your hair when you get one. So what is a perm? A perm is a chemical process, right? It's not natural, it's a chemical process that is used, and I actually have the perm rods right here. When you use these things right here, these are perm rods, okay? And these perm rods, they come in all different sizes like this, right? They are put and rolled onto the hair with, with end papers and, you know, there's a whole process. And what's designed, what these are designed to do is to create a curl or a wave pattern on the hair and it's a whole process of applying the, the chemical, the perm solution, uh, and then you have to do a neutralizer. You know, it's all using chemicals, harsh chemicals on the hair to create a perm, right? Or a wave or whatever it is. And this usually is done on wet hair. But as you can see in through here, what happens is, and I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks and things and some suggestions what happens is that after you put this in the hair, right? And again, this is on, done on dry hair. It's not going to hold too well. You see that right there, okay? What this does right through here, as you can see, you're taking the hair, you're rolling it around here, using the chemical solution to lock it in place. And then when you take these perm rods out, you're going to have a curl pattern or a wave pattern in your hair. It's a permanent process, okay? And it does and can dry your hair out. It could cause breakage. I mean, there's a number of things that it can do if it's not done properly. If you go to a salon and you go to a professional who knows what they're doing, chances are you'll be in okay shape. But what happens is once you have this in your hair, the only way to get rid of it is over time, it may straighten a little bit you still will have some light wave to it, just, or you just let it grow out and you cut out all the remaining curl or the perm, and then you're left back with your natural hair. So it's grow it out, cut it out, or that's it. So <clears throat> a lot of you wanna have this, you know, TikTok or hairstyle, you're always asking questions, oh, should I get a perm? What should I do? I want my hair to flip up, my hair lays too flat, I don't know what to do, all that stuff, okay? First of all, you have to break down the haircut and see what kind of haircut do you, do you have the right haircut for this type of hairstyle. So you need to find someone who knows and can tell you if this is the right haircut for you. And if you, if you don't have it, then maybe you can get it and use some styling products and then that may be the you know, problem solved. But if you do want to have this hairstyle, right, or you want to have a longer version, something like this. Okay, something with some wave and some natural bounce to it and some texture. This mannequin had straight hair. It didn't have wavy hair, it literally had straight hair. And I was able to create this type of wave simply by using my product Tidal Wave. But you can also achieve it by using large perm rods, okay, like this. Large ones. The smaller, these even, these even go down to like pink or even like purple, the smaller or the more narrow the perm rod, the tighter the curl is going to be. And yes, that means your hair, you end up looking like a poodle. It will be so curly and, and so like not what you're looking for. Chances are you don't want to get it. So a lot of times people end up using like purple, right? If you want to have a little bit of a wave or some texture to the hair, or if you have longer hair, like the mannequin I just showed you, and you want to have some create some wave, then you would use something like this. And that's up to the professional to suggest and use the, the right size rods based off of what you're looking for. Now, here is a trick. If you do not want to have a chemical process done to your hair, but you do want to have some sort of perm, some sort of, you know, something to your hair, you can do this yourself. And I actually have done a video on how to self perm your hair without using any chemical process. You can actually, and I always suggest doing this on a wet hair, you don't have to use the wraps or the end papers or whatever because you're not using any chemical, okay? All you need to do is while your hair is wet, 
depending on how you want your style to go. You can actually take the hair and wrap it around like this and bring this all the way down and then you can, you can uh, fasten this, okay, and the curl is going to come more towards the face like this. If you go away from the face, then you're going to get a little more volume and the hair is going to go back and you may be able to get, you know, some, a better flip. It all depends. You can, you can alternate. That'll give you some good texture. But if you're looking to experiment just to see what your hair will look like and to trick everyone, you can do this literally just with water. I even suggest using this and then even my tidal wave spray. Okay. What I do is I would spray uh, tidal wave on the perm rods to help lock it in and give it some texture. Now, what do you do? How long do you leave this in for? I would suggest do this at night. Okay. Wash your hair, do it at nighttime before you go to bed and sleep with these on your hair. I know it's going to sound crazy, but what's going to happen is it's going to set in place overnight so that you can wake up, take these out. All you do is take out, see this little thing here? All you do is it snaps on like this and it's a, this is an elastic band right here. Okay. Take that out, pull the perm rod out. It's going to come right out and then you're going to have wavy hair and it's going to pretty much be dry. Then you can just kind of toss it a little bit and, and you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Now that's not permanent. The minute you wet your hair and wash it or do whatever, it's going to go back to its normal drop, like straight state. So I would suggest letting this go for a few days. Don't wash your hair for two, three days. The longer you want this, then you, you don't wash your hair in that time period. The minute you wet your hair, it's going to go back to normal. Okay. But it's something that you could do anytime you want. Uh, it's something that is kind of a workaround without having to get it. Just be careful. And I would suggest going on YouTube and watch how to apply a perm, how to actually don't because there's probably be a lot of, a lot of videos going over the, the perm solution, the chemical, just, you can look on, uh, look up videos that how to like, how to apply a perm rod or how to use a perm rod or how to roll the hair with a perm rod. Because what happens is you have to be careful with this elastic band because if you, and, and the good thing is about it, yes, it's not permanent, but if you do say, for example, wrap the hair, right? You wrap it down like this. Again, the hair is dry, so it's a little bit harder. You wrap it down and then you go to fasten and secure the perm rod. And then you have this elastic that's just laying right on the hair. Chances are that it could actually create a crease. So you want to bring this down and extend it to the bottom. And then there you go. And you want to roll it down. So it's basically as close to the scalp as you possibly can and let it dry. And then you take these out and then all of a sudden you've got some wave and some curl to your hair without doing any harsh chemicals. It's a, it's a great trick. It's a great way for you to experiment. You could try different perm rods. You don't have to worry about your hair being, damaged or, you know, fried or whatever. So give it a shot, but don't get a perm just because people are telling you to get it. You want to get it. You see people on social media getting it. Just, you have to understand what you're getting yourself involved in. I say experiment first. And if you want to get done, go to a professional. So let me know if the video helps use code YouTube 20 for 20% off at shop.thesalonga.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.